Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. I'm gonna hop out and open my parachute. There we go. We are safely dropping the jet into the water. And we're gonna flood it. Oops. Okay, well it still explodes when it hits the water. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are back with a brand new update. So, last update we had parachutes, and really they were just personal parachutes. You'd stick them on the character, you can jump out of a plane, and safely make it to the ground without splattering yourself everywhere. Well, they now have a new option, and it is for vehicles. And I must say, this is actually rather impressive. So let's jump over to the workbench real quick. So for example here, we have an advanced uh, jet. We've checked this one out before. Uh, it's actually the little ejector seat one. And down here we have the new part called the vehicle parachute. So we can stick a couple of these bad boys on here and connect them to a toggle button. And in theory, we just click the toggle button and it deploys the parachutes. Now you can go in here and actually edit the size of the parachute, so we'll go ahead and jump them both up to 100%. And we're going to try to deploy this mid-air, we're going to see if it just slows the jet down, uh, or kind of how it actually reacts to it, I'm, I'm really curious. I guess you could have this in a couple different ways, say if you're actually going down, uh, engines have blown up or something, you could deploy the parachutes to try to get the vehicle safely down. Or there's other means of using this. I saw Mr. Uh, it's Mr. In Jersey, I believe. He's got a fantastic uh, channel that actually teaches you a lot of these things. Uh, I saw him actually use it to drop cargo out of a cargo jet. Uh, we could have used that the other day when we dropped a car out of one of them. So that's not the only part. They have one more part. Uh, it's called the sliding connector track. It's basically a railing system, so say if you had uh, cargo in the back of a cargo jet, uh, like in Mr. Jersey's video, he could actually slide it out, and it would slide the cargo out the back and then parachute it. Uh, I'm not going to really touch on these today, I really just want to screw around with the parachutes. Alright, so I have a new toggle button here, I'm going to go ahead and connect the parachutes to it. We should be good to go, it's got power in it. I'm starting to slowly learn these uh, advanced aircrafts or boats, and how they work, and how to power certain things, how to try to make the engines work. So hopefully soon, I'm, I might be trying to build something uh, in advanced mode. So anyways, those should be hooked up, they should be ready to go, and we're going to see what happens here. Oh boy, this is going to get messy. I have vehicle damage on, we're going to try to destroy some stuff, and we're going to try to see if we can safely parachute down. So anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Stormworks on the channel, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying this game, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it helps out my channel. And let's do this. Alright, oh this little toggle button's kind of right in the way, isn't it? Let's go ahead and crank this thing up. I probably should have put a parachute on just in case this goes completely wrong. Alright, afterburner's on. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and get that fired. So I think we're going to test this here today, and I think we're going to probably load up like a cargo jet. I don't know, there's going to be a lot of things I think I want to test with the big parachutes. <laughs> let's just hope we actually make it and survive. Alright, let's go full throttle here. Ooh, there we go. Looking good. Landing gear is up. Alright, so you can see the big bulky parachutes on the wings. Uh, should we deploy it while we're going full speed, or should we kill the engine? I don't know. Uh, let's see what happens. Three, two, one, toggle button. Oh, they've deployed. Is it actually affecting the jet, though? Oh, those are really big. That looks so awesome. Oh, I think it is holding it back. Yeah, hold on. Can I hit it again? Will it actually close them? Oh, so you can close those on demand. Yeah, so it actually does slow down the vehicle. So say we're going up here... Uh, just kind of cruising along here, and oh no, the engine has a failure. Let's go ahead and turn it off here. Oops. All right, so now we're falling. Uh, we're still actually climbing right now. We, we have the momentum on our side. All right, so if we're falling here, we're going to go plummeting to the earth. We need to go ahead and try to save the craft. Click this button here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, was that a one-time use? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh no, I think the... <laughs> I think we've depleted the parachute. I don't think you can reload those. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was nice knowing you guys. Hold on. Uh, ah! Why did it explode on impact? Okay, we might want to get out of here. That went swell. Actually, we still have... Oh, 
Okay, yeah, we do. Let's make sure we still add electricity to the buttons. Uh, yep, we uh, we did that. I probably should have loaded those back up. Do I actually have to... How do you load these things back up? The other parachute, the personal one, you could just put that back in. This one apparently is a one-time use. Let's go back to the, uh, the hangar. Alright, so we're back up in the air. I'm assuming you would really want to stick these parachutes on a lot of your career vehicles. Uh, I guess to try to keep them from getting damaged and destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead. Alright, we're going to do this again. We have not started the parachute, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so now we're technically falling to the ground. Alright, so let's go deploy. There we go. Alright, let's see how this slows it down. So, question is... Does it actually make it to where the bigger the parachute, the slower it goes? Or if we had little mini parachutes, would this thing just kind of fall? We're still falling pretty fast, actually. Hold on. <laughs> Let's try to... No, actually, it's slowing down. Uh, do we have a speed? Does it actually read in here? Uh, I don't think it actually is supposed to read. Yeah, it's not going to read the, the speed of us dropping. Look at that. That's actually really cool looking. And yeah, we've really slowed down here. Alright, so technically, hold on, let's bust open the canopy here. I'm gonna hop out and open my parachute. There we go. We are safely dropping the jet into the water. And we're gonna flood it. Oops. Okay, well it still explodes when it hits the water. <laughs> we really didn't save anything there, did we? Man, there's so many opportunities to throw parachutes on things. Like, I want to throw them on, like, speedboats. I want to throw them on, uh, cargo planes. Wait, I wonder if, can we save a big cargo jet? Like, how many parachutes will it take to do that? Let's do this. Alright, so we have the Titan jet. This is something we played with a couple episodes ago. Uh, we loaded up a car in there, which we really could have used that parachute on the car. But, I really have a question. Can we lower this thing safely down to Earth? So, we're going to connect... Let's go with four parachutes. We're going to go with one basically on each end here. Alright, those are all set. Let's go ahead and uh, turn these parachutes all up to 100%. And hope that we can lower this thing back down to Earth and not die. Uh, we'll probably blow this thing up several times. Alright, so we're good to go there. Now, one thing I do want to note, uh, even though I'm like modifying these creations, which I normally don't like to do... Uh, this is not something that I don't think you would do and re-upload. Like, these uh, creators take a long time to do this stuff, so I highly suggest not doing that. Uh, but I think we're uh, we're good to go here. Alright, so I think I remember this thing's startup procedure. Let's go fuel pumps, compressors, engines are on. Alright, so we got a magnet lock. That's for the back ramp, which I think it is open. Alright, let's go ahead... Uh, we're gonna close that, so let's go boom, ramp up, wait for a second, and we'll go magnet lock, that should close the back doors. Yep, there they go. Doors are closing. Now, I do want to load up a car in this, uh, this episode, but I want to see if this thing can just lower with, uh, with the current setup. Alright, so there's our toggle button down there. Let's go and give this thing a little bit of speed. You know, I think Spy actually flew this thing. I don't think I got to fly it. So, I'm not really quite familiar with how this thing works. Alright, so handbrakes are off. Uh, oh, yeah, this thing's got the power. Alright, let's go ahead and taxi out. You know, I probably should shut that side door. Where's that button at? Uh, is it up here in the cockpit? Uh, you know, it's probably got a button near it, if I had to guess. Oh, boy. You know, I just thought, man, you could probably have jet boat races. Like the little drag races with the jet boats. And then you can have the parachute deploy out to try to slow it down at the end. I think that would be kind of cool, actually. Alright, uh, we're going to pick up a little bit of speed here. I'm, I'm trying to taxi this thing out. And I think I'm being a, a little generous with it. Uh, I think we can go faster. Alright, here we go. And we're going to turn here, try to line up with the line, and we're just going to throttle this bad boy up. Alright, let's hope that Komodo can take this thing off. Let's go speed up. There we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, that was a takeoff. Uh, how the heck we did that, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So this thing's got a stabilization system. Let's go ahead. Oh, we are almost in a vertical climb here, Han. Let's try to level this thing out real quick. Okay. Oh, this thing is fast. I don't even remember it being this fast in the, the video we did. 
All right, so what's our current altitude? We're at 600. Okay, let's try to level off at 600. So let's go 600. I know we're climbing right now. Boom. Stabilization system on. All right. So it's going to level itself out at 600. Uh, hopefully, we're still dropping right now. What are we... Okay, yeah, we're dropping down to 600 here. Watch the altitude. Let's hit that sweet number. There it goes. All right, so this thing's perfectly stable now. Everything's set up on it. This is actually a really incredible craft once you think about it. So it's got a full cargo system in the back. We checked that out, uh, that episode. How do we close this thing? Am I missing the... I'm probably walking right by the switch. This seems a little dangerous to have this thing open. Uh, okay, so here's the cargo bay. Uh, we're going to use this. I'll probably attach the parachute to the vehicle, but I don't know if we can get this thing to have a failure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I just warp into the... Wait, I'm in the... I'm in the wall. Are we climbing? Is there something wrong with this thing already? Uh, oh, this ladder. Oh, no, this ladder, it won't... It doesn't function. Uh, I need to actually jump into a seat. Yeah, I, for some reason, the ladder, every time I would jump off, it would shove me in the back wall. All right. So, I don't know if I can get this thing to have a failure. Let's see if we can... Is there a speed setting? Or... Uh, we're probably at max, aren't we? All right. All right, we're going to turn off the stabilization. Let's go ahead and start climbing here. I should probably lower or actually raise the landing gear. Uh, that's around here somewhere, too. All right, so say we're just... We're having all sorts of issues here. Let's go ahead and cut fuel pumps. Okay, it's going to start to die here. All right, so we have lost power to the engines. And we are currently falling back down to Earth. All right, let's go ahead and deploy parachutes. Three, two, one, deploy. Whoop. Uh-oh. Uh, did four? Uh oh Okay, four did come out. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait, what's happening? I, I haven't turned fuel on. Compressor's off. Engine's off. Dude. That is sweet. Like, <laughs> I can't believe that. I think it's working. Are we, how fast are we falling? It's hard to tell. Uh, we're so high up right now. Oh, what's the, what's the altitude reading? Uh, oh, we are falling actually pretty fast still. Um, should we add more parachutes? That, I don't think that's a speed you want to be falling at. Hi, right, guy, we need to uh, try to... Uh-oh. Uh, how do I... Oh, I don't think I can get out of this thing right now. Okay, well, we're going down with the ship, apparently. All right. Uh, looking for that blue water altitude 500 dropping rapidly. Uh, we're not pushing downwards, hon. Huh? Uh, I still see a little flame in the engine. Let's go ahead and back that off. Oh, there's the water. There's the water. Back off, back off. Ooh. I would almost say, oh, we damaged the back door. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, it exploded still. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't say that was the softest landing. Uh, maybe possibly we had survivors, but yeah. You know, it's actually good we left that door open. Hold on, we can go right out now. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. Uh, it's definitely damaged. I don't wonder if putting more parachutes on the front would have raised it up. I don't know. Its back end got picked up. So if I were to stick maybe a couple more towards the front end, would it try to actually stabilize it? The goal was to have that thing come down basically level, like not point it down. So I don't wonder if eliminating the back parachute... And maybe adding one to the front. Would that help? I don't know. Let's uh, do a little science experiment here. Okie dokie. I think we're good to go once again. Let's go ahead and start everything up. Can we just take off straight from the hangar? Does this thing have that kind of power? Kind of curious. All right. Those are fired up. Uh, brakes are off. And the steering generators are on. Everything looks good to go. All right. Here we go. Let's go kick up that speed. Uh, let's go ahead and start to lift here. Uh oh uh oh oh uh oh no 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 oh oh wait what did we did we just seriously bounce off that uh oh yeah we've got a little bit of damage okay that was not that was not my smartest moment uh question is did we break the button oh i hope we didn't break that toggle switch all right <laughs> well you can do it but you're gonna damage your plane this is amazing how this cargo jet can do this like what in the heck all right, let's go ahead and lift. All right, so we're going to have another failure here. Let's see if this lifts differently now. So let's kill those. 
turn off the generator. Wait, actually, probably want to keep that on. Uh, that's off. All right, so uh, we are falling. Let's go. Boom. Parachute's out. Huh. You know, it doesn't make a difference. I uh, eliminated the back chute, and I added two chutes to the front. I was hoping it would pick the nose up. Okay, well, actually, no, I didn't add a big chute to the front as a secondary. Yeah, it still kind of goes down the same way. I was hoping it was going to lift it a little bit different. So what if we uh, eliminated the wing chutes and just had the front chute? It would have to pick it up by the nose then, wouldn't it? Uh, we're going to try that. Okay. All right, we once again bounced off the mountain. All right, everything's running. So now the parachutes are only in the front. Let's see if that kind of changes it up a bit. I'm curious. Uh, let's see. Let's go... Okay, generators. Let's go ahead and go boom, boom, boom. All right, it's dead. So it's going to start to fall here. It's going to nose down. So when we pick the parachutes up, should pick the nose up. Let's go boom. No, it doesn't actually. It must be the weight of the craft. It's got to be. Because that doesn't even really make sense there. Because you see where the... I guess the actual... I don't want to call it string comes out, but... You would think that that would actually tilt the nose up. So, th I think everything just kind of falls in kind of the same way. All right, well, now we know what to expect a little bit with the parachutes. That's still awesome, though. Jeez. All right, time for experiment number two. We're going to load a car up in this thing and hopefully drive it out of it. Uh, that's the goal. I've got a muscle car right here. Uh, so, we're just going to attach a parachute right to the top of it. Uh, let's go ahead and get a toggle button. We'll just stick it. I need to actually have it where I can hit it in the car. Uh, where's a safe place to put this? All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a power to that. Uh, looks like they're getting their power from a battery up there. And then we're going to connect it to the parachute. So we should be good to go here. All right, so got that taken care of. Let's go and spawn the car. Now, this is a true stunt here. Oh, it spawned that really high up in the air. Thankfully, that didn't blow up. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up real quick. All right, crank the car up. This thing can be a little tricky. This is the actual gear selector, I guess, down here. So let's go gear up. Okay. Uh, gear up. Uh-oh, is the gearbox broken? Uh, let's see. Oh, the brake's on. Duh. Was there a, was there a gearbox update at some point that broke this? Let's see. Yeah, the, the gear selector's not working. Even with the hotkeys and manually trying to grab it. Uh, I don't have to... Nope. Come on. Nope. Yep. I think this... Uh, Alright, so muscle cars uh, kind of not going to work here. Hmm. Alright, we need something else to drop then. Uh, I guess we, in theory I could push it in, but it's going to be actually getting the thing out. It's going to be the issue. Uh, I guess if it rests against the back door it might be fine. Hold on, let's see if we can just shove this thing up there. It's amazing uh, how strong this character is. Hold on, let's go a little to this side. Uh, I think we're going to miss it here. Hold on. Uh, we're going to try to push it up in the ramp. There we... Why is this working? Why is this... Uh-oh, I don't think it's working anymore. I think we're stuck. Hold on. Uh, come on. Push it up in there. Ah, that's not going to work. Let's get back on this side. Uh, we need to find something else to drop then. Uh, the idea was to drop this car, which we tried to do, and we were successful. Well, I'm going to say successful with quotation marks. Uh, it somewhat worked, but yeah, I wanted to see it drop at the parachute here. All right, well, I don't see any uh, more cars on the workshop, so I think we're going to move on to speedboats. So, very cool creations, though. I, I love this Titan creation. And I'm loving this uh, parachute update. I just kind of wish we had a card that I can drop out of there. Uh, but anyways, let me go ahead and despawn this, and we'll move over to the boat dock. All right, so we have another creation here. This is a jet boat. So we're going to go ahead and pop this thing out, see how fast it is, and see if we could slow it down uh, with a parachute. Now, ideally, we might actually do this in waves, because I want to see if this thing will actually take off. So, hmm, we have not tried a jet boat yet. Kind of surprised by that. Let's go ahead and climb up here. I see three jet engines poking out of the back, which is always a good sign. So I think we're going to have a really good time here today. Now, how do we get it? Is this a, is that a cargo hatch? Oh, that's the, oh, it's the refueling, I think. All right. 
Uh, this thing really didn't have a description on it, so we're going to kind of wing it. Uh, okay, that opens that. Oh, this is actually really cool looking. Hold on. There's a pilot seat back here. Is that... What's the numpad for? Is this for auto... Oh, it's got an autopilot system. There's the fuel, I'm assuming. Exhaust, temperature, turbine. Okay. Got all the temperatures back there. Pilot seat and... I guess it's co-pilot. So let's close the hatch. Oh, boy. It is jet boat time. So instrument lights, nav lights, cabin lights, LEDs are on because why not? Turbine starter, PID. Okay, so do we go in order here? Let's go... Uh... Okay, I'm pretty sure that didn't fire on, so let's go boom. Fuel pumps are on. PID controller's on. Uh, uh, let's hold the starter. Okay, holding, holding, holding. Waiting for that thing to fire. Might need to give it a little throttle. There it goes. Okay, so it's fired up. Oh, geez, is this really necessary in a boat? Oh, no! Oh, it's already going. I haven't even hit the gas. On throttle. Uh, does this thing turn? How does this thing turn? Hold on. Uh, check, check, uh, wait, is that opposite of how you wanted to turn, or, I don't know, <laughs> okay, this thing's fast, uh, it goes about 150, is that, I don't think it's, is that miles per hour, no, it's gotta be knots, I guess, it's, uh, pretty awesome, hold on, what happens if we, uh, crank up the wind here, how does this thing handle that, oh, <laughs> it turns into a jet, oh, no, Oh no, I think we burst into flames. Okay, so jets do not like to be put underwater. Okay, that is, uh, it's noted. Uh, boat's on fire. We broke that one quick today. Oh man, it, it punched the water so hard. And it's actually, uh, it's got damage on the front of the boat. Alright, so we pretty much have come to the conclusion that it's about 150 knots. Uh, is the speed so if I were to put parachutes would it actually drag down the speed we know it kind of does it in air But does it do it in the water? All right, here we go full throttle. All right, so let's get let it get up to its max speed uh, Wow, it climbs it so quick. So I guess it depends on where it's balancing maybe about 145 is a little bit closer to its actual speed all right, so Oh, it adjusted quite a bit there. All right, so we're going to hit the parachute. Three, two, one, parachute. Parachute has deployed. Is it dragging it down? That's interesting. So this thing has enough force to push against that parachute. And basically, I don't want to say make it useless, but its speed difference isn't actually a lot at all. So I really think this parachute right now is just used for uh, lowering crafts or dropping off supplies or something. You know what I thought would be funny? You could probably have a pod you can put on an aircraft and load up your survivors in there and then just drop them off at the locations without ever having to stop. That's actually kind of funny. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Probably a little shorter episode. Just wanted to cover the update here, check out a couple of these uh, creations, and test out how these vehicle parachutes work. Uh, I do expect us to probably start using these a lot more especially for the crashes without having to actually jump out of the craft and use that parachute. Uh, you can use something like this. But if you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Stormworks.